What's going on everybody? This is Donald from Has Many Wares. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Uh, it finally happened guys, finally. I finally got off my lazy ass and did it. Uh, I'm finally back in the animation game. Yay! That's right, I'm finally animating again. This is the first time in years, really. Like, I really, <laughs> this is amazing. Like, I can't, I can't believe it. I'm so excited I'm finally working on something again. Uh, this, this in the background is just me making a character sheet for one of the characters that will be in the animation. Uh, some of you might recognize him. He is from the promotional poster that I made that I tweeted out yesterday. And uh, also on my website, my Facebook page, yada yada yada. And uh, so yeah, I'm making him a character sheet so I know what to work with. And that also brings up the topic of this video. Uh, when I tweeted out uh, this poster yesterday, uh, I got some questions. Uh, some of you were just expressing excitement. Thank you, by the way. Oh my god, I hope it turns out. Uh, but a couple of you actually had some questions. I, I got and like it seemed to be pertaining to on a starting point for wanting to animate. Uh, so some of you were expressing some interest in like, okay, well, where do I start? It's all kind of confusing what with all the aspects that go into an animated movie and that is true So I figured I'll just say basically where I like to start doesn't necessarily mean it's the correct way But it's just the way that I like to start an animation and it makes me feel the most comfortable starting on a project So where I like to start is sort of rough character designs and base ie a character sheet uh, so that way it gives me a chance to familiarize, if I can speak English for a second, it gives me a chance to familiar, fami wow, I can't say that word. It gives me a chance to get acquainted with the character that I want to create. We'll just say that. It gives me a chance to get to know him, uh, get to know the shapes that he's made of. It lets me really break down that character into an easily animatable format. So it's really, really hard to animate a character from thought. It's a lot easier to get the character down on paper, break him down into basic shapes as you'll see I'm doing in the video, and then use that, sort of just keep that on the side, keep that character sheet with all those notes, with all those shape breakdowns, all those character breakdowns next to you, so when you're animating and you're wondering to yourself, oh god, what would this character look like if he was crouched down, you can use the tools that you gave yourself, that sort of blueprint, that sort of outline if you will, uh, to basically make your life easier and help you understand how that character moves and how he's gonna work. I basically equate it to, if you're gonna build something, make sure you have tools that can actually get the job done. If you have a box full of tools, but they're all useless, say you want, you know, you want to build a house, but your hammer breaks every time you try to hit a nail into a board, that house is never gonna get built and you have a bunch of useless tools. You know, basically, for character sheets, the reason I like them is it gives me a chance to set myself up for success uh, by creating a tool that is useful to me, a tool that is simple, but a tool that I can use uh, to make it go by a lot smoother. So basically, that would be my recommendation for a starting point, that long explanation there, is start with a rough sketch or a character sheet, just something to where you can see your characters or your story broken down. Uh, in basic shapes in the most basic way. And I'll make another video on storyboards for those of you who are more curious about the story side, not so much the character side. This one more pertains to characters, but I'll make one for storyboards as well. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Start small, start with basic shapes so you can familiarize yourself with your character. Hey, I said it! Alright, well hopefully this was helpful, I can't wait to make more, and uh, yeah, feel free to tweet at me or comment in the YouTube video below, best way to get a hold of me with any more questions you might have. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next...